I'm Mac here with Tools. Today we are going to do a versus video between Craftsman and Bosch. Well, let's see what these can do against each other. Both of them will have a 4 and a power battery, and it's going to be a good one. I'm seriously curious on which one of these would actually win. All right, so as you can see on the Bosch, 4 amp hour battery. Battery is full. Battery is full on the Craftsman. 4 amp hour battery. So the one thing that is a major benefit of the Bosch is the Bosch Freak. The anvil is both quarter inch and half inch. So that's that's a good, I love that anvil. All right, first let's do a six inch specs. Let's see on how well this does. Uh, three speed modes, it is on speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do Bosch's Freak. Ready, go. I think the Craftsman got that one. As you can see, when it comes to the hammer hitting, hitting the anvil, it activated later. So it actually took, I think the Craftsman got that one. All right, so let's take out Craftsman's. Ready, go. Time. Let's take out Bosch's. Ready, go. Time. All right, now let's do an eight inch timber lock. Ready, go. Not too shabby. Time for Bosch. Ready, go. Time. Let's take out Craftsman's. Ready, go. Time. Take out Bosch's. Ready, go. All right, so next we're gonna do a four, six, and eight inch lag. Now, depending on how well they do the six, we might skip number eight. If they both uh, majorly struggle with the six inch, then yeah, we're gonna skip the eight, uh, the eight inch. And if they do the six inch very well and the eight inch very well, we will do a 10 inch, but we'll see in how well they do with the six and eight. And we will try out the Bosch half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter on the Craftsman. We'll see on how well that actually goes. Do the four inch first. Ready, go. I think that's time. Yep, that's time. Like I said, the one benefit of Bosch, just flat out put the socket on like that. No adapter needed. Not needing an adapter is priceless. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's take Craftsman's out. Ready? Go. Not too shabby. Take out Bosch's. Ready? Go. Time. Alrighty, so next let's do a six inch lag. Ready? Go. That's it, that is time. To me, that seemed a bit slow. That did seem a bit slow to me. But next, let's do the Bosch. Ready, go. Should be it, that is time. All right, I'm hoping that this Bosch uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter survives. I'm hoping. Right, let's take it out. Ready, go. Not bad, that's not bad taking it out. That was actually a pretty good time. All right, ready, go. Time. 
time. All right, we are gonna do an eight inch lag because the, the six inch lags weren't that bad of a time. So let's see what these can do with this. All right, ready? Go. I think it stopped. I think, yep, it stopped. If I, pr I'm gonna let it chill for a few seconds and let's see if it can continue. Because I think if I just flat out, I think uh, this adapter will break if I continue. But we will see. I would, if this adapter does break, I'd be so disappointed because it lasted a, just a few lags. Uh, shall I continue? Time, it did it. See, sometimes uh, the tool does need to just take a little break, but if it did fail to keep on driving that in, I would have failed that for the test. But it, uh, after the little break, it did succeed. Doesn't happen too often, but sometimes the tool does need a little break. All right, next is Bosch. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Perfect. All right, these tools are getting hot. And that happens sometimes. Some tools stay cooler than others, and some get hotter than others with doing less tasks. All right, but let's take uh, Craftsman's out, and we will do a final temperature reading. And guys, just let you know, I've been using this for years, and it actually is accurate. The, it's 40 bucks. The bad thing about this is it only goes up to a certain amount, so like I think it's like 550 is the max I think I'll put it in right now what it is but yeah this is a, it's actually a good uh, th uh thermal reader right, ready go time let's do a temperature reading really quick 105 110 116 121, 125, 100, 127 degrees. Yeah, that got hot for just doing a couple of things. But let's take this out. Ready? Go. Time. It did it. It did it. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 116, 112, 100, 122, 122 degrees. So the Bosch did run a little bit cooler. Did run a little bit cooler. So when it comes between these two, like I keep saying in many videos that the Bosch Freak is actually a, a nice anvil to have. Like this anvil is so unprecedented because you know, this channel breaks adapters left and left and right to be able to use sockets on these and I'll never have to worry about that when it comes to the, the Bosch uh, Freaks. So, but as you can see, there is a significant size in batteries. So they're both four amp hour batteries. But for the tools themselves, the Craftsman does remind you of the DeWalt a little bit and the, the Bosch, you know, just doesn't read, it's Bosch. So I just want to show you the difference of these if you guys were interested in buying into the Bosch platform or Craftsman platform. They both have a decent amount of tools to work with their batteries. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.